you have the Hextech Ultimatum to lock the Zeri down, and then Hecarim to charge in, follow up, try and burst her out. For the side of AL, I think it's way more skirmish based, a lot more team fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the big meat shields in the set Renekton two by space. Oh, gives a little bit of presence there, and especially later on in the in the side laning as well. Xiaohao now going in for his own aggression. Immediately finds Shun, and Shun is in some trouble here. The skirmishing power of the Viego early is very detrimental to the health bar of Hecarim, and Shun will back away. Start the Krug camp here. Has. The rest of AL move again with the priority gained bot lane to try and take more as now Shun is just dead. How does this all turn out this way? You would think that IG would be able to get back and help, but they cannot. Oh, crucially needing a reset. Oh, wait, they find Shocho and now the devastating charge in. That was a nice face breaker though. The Haymaker onto Wink as well. Toto's just left out to dry though. And Wink gets the kill. Those adoration stacks working out nicely. Now the Forge on the other side with the Spear Rush gets the charm to cleanse from Wink is dead! Betty finds it and on the back end of it, AL come out on top again. The situation, but it's not going to be spotted out just yet. Now Chocho on the bottom side trying to go for it. Has a lot of damage as well as the surge for Betty, but they can't find the kill just yet. ZDZ is a drone. What is going on? We have action all over the place. ZDZ is just dead to Zika, and now IG somehow found a kill on the top side. We didn't think anything was going to happen. Yeah, oh, oh Chocho and Lucas just sacrificed his life. Can we turn it around? No, he can't. He cannot, and Lucas dies for his sins. Yeah, they, I mean, Lucas hitting level six. Extended a little bit by moving up for that wave. Nicely calculated though from IG, move them out of there. IG now move looking in the mid lane yet again. Forge, about half his health bar taken out. Forge just dies to Shun's devastating charge plus damage. Now they'll surely. I think it was Jackie Love still went full, uh, full like mobile crit build after that. Is uh, they, they've been on the wars Lucas. this whole time. <laughs> AL just moving. Now we're getting that 5v5. I want at least a 4v5 at this point. The lightning does crash, and Betty is doing some serious damage. Chocho already out of there. Shad Onslaught of Shadows is out. This is everybody from IG trying to run away, and they just can't. They are dying under tower to AL, and they had you in the first half, didn't they, Lyric? And, I mean, it looked like 4 a.m. Oh, maybe wrap around from the box side. I think that'd be a good call, right? Putting some pressure over the wall. The forge, look at Mole. Mole getting a bunch of damage to Shadow, but the dragon is secured by anyone's legend. What about the fight, though? IG are looking very scary here as the showstopper goes through. Betty is still in touch, but he can't do anything, but there's still five members of IG strong. Double kill for Wink, and that is a big turnaround, even though they lose the dragon. The sad thing for IG, 37 seconds on the dot. IG keeping up the pressure, looking for these aggressive picks. Uh -huh, in some trouble here, though. Mole takes about half his health. The Onslaught of Shadows as well, onto the back. Does Xiaohao die? Showstopper for Chocho, and Xiaohao is out of the fight. Base Breaker is not gonna be enough to get Chocho out of there, and Betty just has to watch you now get the X-Deck Ultimatum, and this is the kind of combo you want, but Zika way overextended under tower, and now AL can push back. Betty didn't even die, and that is a Really big throw from IG in that moment. Xiaohao now getting the resets. Betty on fire at this point. They are getting kills left and right. And how did we get here, Lear? How? Uh, we got here because Zika, for some reasons, like, yo, boys, let's dive <laughs> middling turret. Instantly dies. Gives over a ton of kills to the side of IG. They should have just left him out there. They should have just left him to die. As now AL get a Baron. And, you know... You know, not not every you know re-debut of the year. Tries to get away from the backside. Shun is on the flank here. Can IG make something happen here? The confidence not there though. Both AD carries have no flash. Both are vulnerable to an engage. Both teams have ways to getting onto the back Wait. line easily. Chocho's looking for it. We're in such a weird position. Lucas just flashes <laughs> over the wall. What is happening? <laughs> AL just somehow find themselves in a 5v5 fight. The resets are not coming out from Xiao this time. Okay. We come away for, with a one for one. Both supports die somehow. Teams, as we uh, get to watch Chocho moonwalk around the map somehow. <laughs> Thank you, Observers, by the way. Uh, very much appreciate that. Don't know what's going on with that. Chocho has always had my respect and just another reason for him to have the respect for him out there. But look at the mini-map. ZDZ is getting picked off. Yeah, walk away from that one. ZDZ maybe not being able to walk away from this one, though. X-Deck ultimatum, CC down, and Zika gets the kill.
I mean, ultimately, it's, it's a nice bit of gold injection. Aim for them. Just get weird angles and try to engage on AL. I feel like it's worked out to some extent so far. Shun wants to go for that engage. That's the devastating charge, but gets caught out. Now they jump onto ZDZ. The lightning crash from Betty is huge. We've got a split fight. Shun buying so much time, but it doesn't matter because you've got Forge and Betty still firing away. Zika burning down to death. Betty gets grabbed by the dredge line, but that baits the rest of IG in. Now Betty is still firing away, gets another kill, and that is another team fight win for anyone's legend. Yeah. Them. But very fortunate for AL. As we saw coming out of the replay, AL were trying to force the Baron. We're not able to do so. Now ID are here to force a fight. Zika not taking the hook shot this time, but gets charmed and dies anyways. Hextech Ultimatum saves him though. He's not dead. Onslaught of Shadows to the back line from Chun. But look at the damage the front to back. It could be there. Betty is crashing all around us. The AOE. Betty on the side. Oh my goodness. There's no way. The double kill comes through for Wink. But in the end, it's an ace for anyone's legend off the back of seemingly nothing. Yeah, I mean, for IG right there, trying to take advantage of a window where they knew AL would want to look to reset. They had taken a little bit of pretty much every member of AL twice. IG are the ones that are forced to fight first. Mole on the side, but he will get spotted out by that ward placed there from AL. Spots it out himself. See what AL decide to do with the dragon. Quarter health here. Mole still on the side. Zika waiting his time. To get into the fight itself as the drag does reset. Mole getting a little bit cheeky on the back there, but can be trigger pulled onto by AL at any moment. Banshee's Bell already popped. Forge has the distance. Nice move from Mole, though. This smooths right now from IG. They can't get forth the double stop. What? Or no, Forge, he's still the focus. They finally get him. The health bars from IG are actually pretty strong. ZDZ goes down to the GA, though. Zika now onto Betty. Betty goes down to the GA himself. GA is popping everywhere, but can it be the difference? Zika is going down next mole. IG, what happened? You were so close. You were so high and up towards the sun, but the sun burns and IG lose another fight. I mean, we saw the difference maker there, right? It was everything we pointed out before the fight. The fact that you had to kill the members of AL twice. If it wasn't for right, the stopwatches, the GAs, maybe it was a fight IG could have won. I think that was much more favorable than I expected the fight to go in favor of IG actually picking up two kills. But at the end of the day, the lead for AL. There's really no way into these fights. Should still just desperately wanting to find something. Here comes the TP now. Xiaohao decides to engage on the bowl, who almost just dies to the Elder Dragon buff. And guess what? The wings are flapping and IG is lapping. That's it for game number one. AL clean house. And you hear the roar as they take game number one of this best of three. Yeah, great performance coming out from anyone's legend. Uh, early game, they found some nice moves, especially in regards to the, the bottom lane where they were able to find some picks uh, into that 2v2. Even Forge, I think, had a solid early game right. Had that one time where he tried to go for the...